Right then, this package is really heavy. Whoa. Right, so if you don't know already, you've got a new van. The first package has arrived um, that kindly expert have sent out to us. I should stop banging things because it's going to be really loud on the mic. It is windy outside as well, so I'll just bear that in mind. But yeah, so Expert sent us out some stock for the van. So Steve, cheers for that. He uh, dropped us a message after I uh, did a video, two videos ago, I think it'll be, or three, mentioning I want to have a basic stock. So here's a list here, but I'll unbox it and show you. So just like your bits and bobs, like where you go boxes, a little bit of socket switches, where you goes. Because when you're at someone's house and... I don't know, the customer says, oh, this socket front's cracked. Can you just quickly change this? You ain't got to go, oh, right, I'll go to the wholesalers. Just is, that adds another 40 minutes onto your day, doesn't it? Just go in there, getting stuck in traffic, maybe getting a little cheeky Mackies on the way back. <laughs> but yeah, so let's open these up and let's see what we've got. I'm in the van now. Got my uni light knife. I believe Nick or Mike, my uncle I was working with today, have robbed my uh, Stanley one, but I've got the uni light flip out knife. So let's get this open. This one's really heavy, actually, so I'm not too sure what's in it. I think there might be some cables in it, actually. Right, that's that open. Let's tear it up. And let's have a look. See what's inside. Oh, it's beating me there. There we are. Yes, I was right. So straight away, we're greeted with a drum of 100 metres of 2.5 and 100 metres of 1, one mil. Or is it 1.5? One, uh, one mil. So that's great. Obviously, you're going to be using that day in, day out, doing your sockets, your ring mains. Ring mains? What ring mains? We don't do ring mains anymore. Four mils. Uh, and then your one mil for your lights and all that jazz, smoke detectors and that. I've already took the one mil out. Let's get this big everyone out. Oh, Jesus. Whoever said electrician's easy, it's not. Hey, oh, we've got some more goodies in here. Let's open her up. So we've got some white stuffing glands, as you know, using your whisker boxes and all that jazz. They'll be amazing. Throw them over there. All right, so I've used about 30 of these today. So the uh, sticky pad bases, I'll just give you a little close up there. So they're great for sticking on things like under your kitchen cabinets for the LEDs or anything like that, where you just need to get a fairly good fixing with your cable ties and they're 3M sticky back. So you just stick it to whatever. Say if I'm running the cable here, I can just stick it on and then cable tie my cable to that. So that's a time saver. So we've got some white stuffing glands, black, st black stuffing glands. We've got two armoured glands. So I thought, keep two glands on the van because if you ever get like, about a week ago, I had a little call out. So a friend, their dad was using the strimmer and actually went through the armoured cable because someone who'd done it, wasn't actually me, someone who'd done it hadn't rat buried the cable enough and they uh, were strimming all like these weeds really in the flower bed and uh, yeah they went straight through the cable with these hedge cutter type things so I had to fix that but then same principle again I had to drive to screw fix get a little box get some armor glands whereas if you've got this on the van it's just a case of well walking outside to the van and then you got it and most of this stuff you build up over time like so on jobs where you over order a little bit whereas I thought it's so handy having that stuff in the van like we do it day in day out with Nick's van so if I can do that from day one, I'm always going to be pre prepared for every situation and such. So that's armoured glands. I think they're 20S's, so you standard like one mils or two fives. And then we've got some black stuff and glands. So believe it or not, next week I've got a job coming up while Nick's away, which is um, installing some soffit lights. So I'm at my house now, behind me, I've installed some soffit lights that look really good, um, but yeah use these loads and they're actually the whisker ones as well there is some knockoff stuffing glands which they're nowhere near as good the uh, rubber inserts on them and when you tighten them up with your grips they don't go as tight so make sure you always get the whisker ones because they're the top quality ones right is that box one done yep packaged well as well so it's not going to get smashed about nothing smashed all the cardboard's intact on the drums so that's another good point so we've seen some people say when you order stuff online oh it's going to turn up damaged and all this it's not. If they package it right, which they have, expert are doing as much as they can. Obviously, if you get a delivery driver who is, let's just say, doesn't really like his job and he throws it in the back of his van, then yeah, that's, we, we can't help that. Let's move on to package number two. Number uno. Uno? Dos. 
that's two in uh, Spanish, I believe. But I will just add as well, Nick does actually have a discount code with Expert. So I think it's Bundy or Bundy 10. So when you go on their website, you get 10% off on anything you order. The website is really, it's really smart website. So you can t tick at the top, including VAT, excluding VAT, depending if you're VAT registered. Um, and it clearly lists the prices. So say when you click on cables, at the bottom it says, one mil obviously is a fixed price. And then it says one five, obviously add five quid or whatever it is. And then two five, add 20 quid or 30 quid, whatever it is. So it gives you states of prices clearly, which I like to see. Because you go on some websites, not even just for electrical goods, just other things. And you have to spend ages looking for the price. Whereas on expert, the price pops out straight at you. So you ain't got to spend, well, you all know what it's like. You quote up a job. I've done it with little jobs. You quote it up as such, looking at all the materials. And then obviously, <laughs> A lot of you bigger people might just have accounts or such, but you can set up an account with these and then well, it just turns up your door like this. I've come home and it's there at my door. So you can't beat that service. But let's stop waffling and let's get into number two. Right, straight away, it's packed to the brim. So I'll just give you a bit of a close up here. Let me grab the camera. So here's a bit of a close up. Straight away, it's overflowing. This is probably a bit excessive stock wise, but I've just thought of every little thing I always go to the van for for Nick or little things we're using on jobs. So I'm just gonna start offloading this one by one, showing you. So we had the cable tie sticky bases. So there's black and white cable ties there. So black, white, and then some more big cable ties. Jeez, he sent me loads out. Little black cable ties. So they'll go super cool on the underneath the kitchen cupboards so you can't see them. We've got some white sticky pad ones. Jeez, I'm gonna be making daisy chains out of these. Oh, don't we all like some fresh way he goes. Is there any big ones in there? Oh, nice. Nice. Better way he goes. Got loads of boxes, Wago boxes. I'm going to send this Nick in a minute because we've ran out of Wago boxes and say, uh, do you want to borrow any Wago boxes, mate? Right, I've had to put you back down on the side because it's overflowing and it's going to go everywhere. But yeah, I don't even want to know how many Wago boxes are here. It's great. So I think there's about... 20 years by looking at it. Let's just quickly get all these out and then uh, we'll see what else is in here. That's the way you go boxes out. Now we're working with patresses. So we've got some fast fix singles, fast fix doubles, unload all of those. And now we're greeted with this. Even Nick doesn't have one of these. So it's the fire grommets, but they come in like a nice little box with loads of different arrangements. So you've got the 32 mil ones, the 25s and the 20s. So obviously we know for fuse boards, that's great because if there's ever a fire, you just stab a little hole. Well, you stab a little hole, put your cable through. If there's ever a fire, then obviously it works like a downlight. It's the same kind of material that's around the bezel. So it swells up if there's a fire and seals the hole. They look cool. And obviously you just put them in place and just give them a good whack with the hammer. So let's put them to a side and let's see what else is in here. Even more patrices. So we've got the malleable ones. These are really good for kitchen cupboards or just that extra little socket in your garage, stuff like that. So you've got singles and doubles of them. So let's offload those. That's those offloaded. So now we're on to galve boxes. So obviously you've got your galve singles and then your galve doubles. Only stock in 25s. So I'll order 35s if I require them on like big back boxes or your shower ones and stuff like that because they're just too bulky to keep in the van in my opinion. Nick keeps a couple. However, it's nowadays everything, even USB sockets, they fit on 25s. So it's uh, less work chasing in, which we all like. So these are mixed box. So this is click stuff. If you don't know what this box is already, you Sparkies out there will know what this is. So what's in here? We've got a few spurs and then single sockets also. So five of each. So that you, you normally get like your single sockets. It's normally your old traditional houses where there's like a single socket in each corner of the room or just the one. And uh, you always get like a little job saying, oh, it's cracked or it's not working or the little toggle switch don't work. So they're just handy to keep for those little jobs. Every now and then they get called out too. Obviously I've done loads of these with Nick's. Yeah, loads of people now will be commenting saying, you've not even started yet. How do you know all this? Well, I do work with Nick and I've worked for him for four years. So do you know what I mean? I've, I've got a bit of background in it. Double sockets. So these are going to be full boxes. I think there's two of these. So this one here is going to be doubles. Yeah, so two boxes of doubles, plain white, click mode. These, in my opinion, are just the base, bog standard, best sockets um, out there. Just 
Yeah, I just like them. Giraffe. What's giraffe? What's a giraffe? Uh, flex cable clips, five to sevens, and are these seven to tens? Yeah, so these are seven to tens as well. So, yeah, just for your normal one five flex clips. I actually need some of these next week, so these will come in handy. Let's stack them on there. Let's make a big tower, shall we? See how high we can make it. Even more, what are these ones? One five T and E clips, so twin and earth for the cables just down there. And then, oh, he sent me loads, loads of these. So we've got two five clips for T and E. So T and E is twin and earth, if you didn't know already. On to the next thing. The thing I love the most doing, outdoor stuff. So whisker, that wasn't a joke by the way, I actually do like doing armoureds and uh, outdoor stuff, especially when the weather's like this, nice. So whisker 308s, I believe these are, the square ones with the 20 knockouts. Use hundreds of these a year, I do. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds with Nick. So is that two boxes of them? Yeah, two boxes of them, mint. So they are amazing, they are. Obviously, you don't have to thread your armoureds into them, they're already pre-threaded, so you just screw them in and your stuffing glands you don't need the locking ring as such you just thread it straight in what i normally do little uh, trick out there obviously i'll show it on my next video i'm doing it so on the stuffing gland i take off the nut thread that onto the cable and then tighten up my stuffing gland with that off so i can get a good hand tight grip and then put my grips on it after without that being in the way because sometimes if that's in the way and you scuff it a bit it really does tarnish the look um, so if that's out of the way, you can't scuff it, but just be careful you don't scuff the thread because then that won't go back on. I have to sort this out, otherwise I'll uh, drive around and because I've got no racking or nothing in here yet, it'll just be... What have we lastly? Switches. One gang switches. And is this two gang? Did I ask for some two gang switches? Yes, I did. So one gang and two gang click mode switches. So what I've done is, and what most people do is, match all the same brands. So we've got like single sockets, few spurs, double sockets, one gang light switches, two gang light switches. So overall now, I'll do a bit more talking of the brief summary of things and my ideas behind this. Once again, massive thanks and shout out to Expert Electrical for sending all of this stuff out here. Like this doesn't look like a lot, even though it, it does to me, um, but obviously it will be in my neat racking and stuff like that soon, soon to come. But yeah, so thanks again. This stuff here is probably easily four or 500 quid, if not more. So yeah, big thanks. Cheers to Expert. Don't forget, I'll put a link below in this to Expert. So go and check them out. Use Nick's code, Bundy10. Uh, Nick doesn't earn any money from that such. It just gives you guys a bit back. So a discount as such on all your goods. Like I say, if you're organized, you literally do it. And I think it's next day delivery as well. So you just put your order in and then you get home from work like today, I have, and then you have, just have a little present there. I love coming home to packages, it's an amazing feeling. You're just like, oh, what's this? You forget what you've ordered. But then I did see the expert writing, and I thought, yeah, boy. So, yeah, that's all this stuff. I just need to uh, sort it out, and I'm going to be using bits and bobs next week whilst I'm doing a few little jobs. But, yeah, so that's a one addition added to the van. So far, so good. So I'm just going to sort this back out. And uh, I need to get my pack out stuff from the unit from Nick and uh, start putting some bits and bobs in that, eh? And then start smashing some jobs out. So, yeah, like I said before in the other videos, I'm going to be subbing out, trying to learn a few different things because I've mainly done house bashing. Um, I've done a bit of commercial work with John Bagley and a few other people like Mark Allison. But yeah, if there's anyone out there who wants me to do some work with them or anything like that, you've got some cool projects coming up, some outdoor lighting or anything like that, give us a shout. I'm willing to travel a bit, work away obviously get a bit more experience and film for you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. It's gonna be a short, snappy, quick one, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one, bye.